Hey YouTube, hope you all are doing good. Uh, this is just gonna be, I'm gonna try to make a short video. Uh, just, uh, you know, ways, this is gonna be a video on ways to keep your uh, Xbox 360 from getting the Red Wing of Death. Because uh, I know quite a few of the older ones, pros, even some elites still get it. Uh, I know a few Xbox 360 Slims get it, but they're usually easy fixes. But I am going to try to make this as short as possible. Um, this is just some really easy ways to prevent it from happening. So let me go over to my Xbox and show you. Hey Charlie, you remember my old boyfriend Spencer, right? Totally. What are you doing? Um, okay. So this is my Xbox. Uh, as you can see, I do have something on top of it, a PS2, but, uh, it's not covering any of the side vents there. Let me just turn a flashlight on. Uh, so, one way to keep it from getting the Red Ring of Death would be to keep your vents unplugged, unclogged. You know, from any like dust, lint, or anything that builds up in there, because that usually does happen after a while. Uh, including that vent right there on the back, because that's like the most important one. You know, including uh, the side vents. You know, and then there's a couple on the bottom too. Um, so keep those. Like either blow them out, or you can take like a hair dryer that's like, uh, you know, that has cool air on it, and you can blow it out with that. But make sure it's cool or not warm out you're using. That's very important. Uh, you can also use, like, I don't know, maybe a cow vac or something to vacuum them out. Or you can just use a mouth. Um, I usually wash. I usually take a dry wipe or something and just kind of wipe it down a lot. Um, every once in a while I might lightly like, do it with a somewhat wet cloth too every once in a while so that's one way uh, keep keeping it clean another way uh, would be to keep you know cost keep it ventilated keep both top vents side vents this back vent with the fans is the most important vent to keep it ventilated and you see I have it in a pretty good ventilated spot you know not too close to the curtain not too close to the TV or to other stuff. Uh, don't put anything on top of it to have the box the top vents. The bottom, you know, don't put it on the carpet because that can also cause wet wing of death because you're not getting enough ventilation when it's on the carpet. Um, can I keep it on a hard surface? Same with the block, you know, keep it ventilated, you know, because it's usually. There's usually a vent right here, some on the sides, and one in the back. As you can see, mine is pretty ventilated on both sides and all around. Uh, you know, I mean, don't put on the don't put that on the carpet either, because that will most likely uh, cause it to get a static electricity, or just in general will not be able to ventilate the bottom too good. So keep on keep everything on a hard surface if you can. So what else was there? Another way is the plug. You know, mine's the gray plug if you can see it. It's plugged into a wall strip. It's not into a surge protector, but it's into a regular old three point like three outlet wall strip that goes into the wall. Um, you know, people say to plug it just into the outlet itself, just into a regular home outlet without any kind of storage protector or anything. But, uh, I mean, that's, that's good because it'll give you all the power to the 360 you need. But in my case, I just have too much stuff in the future to plug in there too, like Christmas decorations and stuff, so I just have to keep it in there like that. But, uh, plug in, it, plug it into a through stripper like that even will help it more than plug it into, uh, Something like that, uh, power strip, you know, like one of the big ones with a whole bunch of outlets in it. So plugging into just 
one to three outlets would work better than plugging into a big strip. That would keep it more power to it, you know. But if I, I recommend just plugging into the wall itself, that would help it get all the power it needs. Because when you plug it into a regular power strip, it might not get all the power it needs. So, yeah, I'm trying to think of another way. Uh, you know, only keep your discs in the disc drive when you're actually playing the game. Um, you know, don't, like, pause it and then walk away from... Or, you know, don't, like, uh, exit the game, go on the Xbox 360 dashboard and just leave the disc in there. You make sure you take it out when you're not using the disc. Because that will cause uh, more dust and everything to go into the 360. Um... And uh, it'll make it work even ho even harder than it really needs to because it has to keep the disc in there. So yeah, that's another way. Um, I'm not sure what else it is. So well ventilated, um, you know, stuff all I, all the stuff I just said I think is good ways. So. So yeah, uh, I can't really think of any other ways. So I mean, and try not to have like any of those intercoolers or anything blocking this, the fan back here with all the fans, because I thought that can uh, really um, increase the chances of having a death actually because it's blocking the main fans. Even though it's cooler with, with more fans, it's blocking the main fans. So that's not too good of an idea. But what you can do is get a fan pack for the side vent here. Um, that will do you some good. And now it's not... Because there's no fans over there to block. So you'll be safe putting it over there. You know, so those are just some ways to keep to prevent the wed wing of death. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Sorry it's kind of long, but... I can't really think of anything else. If you guys can think of anything else, private message me or comment on the video below to prevent it. So, or if I made a mistake in something, just please point it out. So, yeah, that's it for now, and uh, uh, make more videos in the future. So, uh, yeah, stay safe and have a good one, guys.